Hi, my name is Phil Grisak and I'm a product marketing engineer for Keysec Technologies, specifically for RF applications on Infinium oscilloscopes. Today in this video, I'm here to talk to you about power amplifier tests using modulated signals on Infinium oscilloscopes. And we could do this today because the enhanced Spurious Free Dynamic Range, Noise Floor, obviously multiple channels, and wide bandwidth of the oscilloscope. Before we look at our measurement results, let's describe our measurement setup a little bit in more detail. Here we have our MXG Vector Signal Generator generating an LTD FDD two component carrier signal at about 1.9 GHz. And that's being fed into our power amplifier here. And both the signal directly from the signal generator and the output of the amplifier are being fed into channels 1 and 3 respectively. This allows us to both see the input to the amplifier and the output to the amplifier to make our PA test measurements. Let's zoom in here so we can look at our measurements in more detail. Here we can see our measurement results in the 89601 VSA software running directly on our S-series oscilloscope. We can see here in the upper left hand corner our input spectrum of our two component carrier LTE signal. And just below that we can look at the output spectrum of the power amplifier under test. And we're driving this power amplifier with enough power such that we're compressing it slightly. And we can see that result in, in a few different measurements here. In the center top, we can see our AM to AM compression. In the center bottom, we can see AM to PM distortion. And then lastly, in the upper right-hand corner, we can see our gain compression figures of merit. And we can see those graphs rolling off slightly, indicating compression of the amplifier. Also, in the lower right, we can see delta EVM, and this provides a delta measurement in the input and output signals to provide what type of error we're seeing. This is extremely useful since we can drive a power amplifier with the signals that they were intended to when they were designed, in this case a modulated LTE signal, instead of just a CW test. This provides great insight and live update measurements by using this Infinium oscilloscope with two channels and sufficient bandwidth and performance to make these type of power amplifier measurements. As you can see, based on these measurement results to look at gain compression of a power amplifier, we see that both the S-Series with the VSA software provides a great measurement capability that's enabled by the low noise floor and signal integrity of the scope, as well as the enhanced over 67 dB of spurious free dynamic range. And this is all capable because of our 10-bit ADCs. Now with multiple channels and wide bandwidth on each one of those channels, we can make meaningful, modulated power amplifier test measurements. Thanks for your time for watching this video today. Hope it benefited you and your application greatly. If you'd like more information on our Infinium oscilloscopes, please go to keysight.com slash find slash scopes.